All right, this is the basis of the flow bench. Of course, there's a lot of calibrating and tuning to be had, but the punchline here is, and I'll make better quick release holders, but this is a Kian 230 jet, just something to go with. And I made this jet holder. Of course, I'll make this quick release so I can flow my jets quickly and efficiently. I got a towel here. We'll build a stainless drip tray that returns back to the tank underneath um, so that we can just open a quick change. We'll be at, I'll, when I'm done, I'll be able to flow all my jets, all brands, all thread pitches, pills. Just depends on pressure and the pressure gauges. And, um, this little pump I'm using is not up to the task. I can tell it's light, but gives me a foundation. So the jet's installed in there. It's over the towel. We get some power. Everything's rigged up just to see the concept work. It won't matter when I'm done what, what the jet is. So we're dripping. It's hard to see in here. This is this is emergency bypass pressure. Um, and then flow. And so everything has to work together and it's all relevant to the pump. But as I see, as I start to close, and so obviously this pump's a little bit small because I can deadhead it. And that is the flow of the 230 minus a little bit of leak because I put it together hand tight over the towel. And so a 230 jet at the pressure that's on the gauge with this pump deadheaded, is you know right around one and a quarter gallons a minute or on the liter per minute scale just at five so regardless of what the jet size is at a given pressure and let's look at the pressure gauge at a given test pressure I can document flow for example if that 20 pounds or whatever it was was my pressure number then that therefore that's my flow number so of course I got to calibrate everything but there it is flowing jets instead of counting on numbers calculating fuel flow through a regular jet thanks